And in the meantime, the Clovis Rodeo returns next week. It was canceled last year because of the pandemic, but it starts next Wednesday, but with new restrictions. CBS 47's Shauna Kalafi joins us live at the rodeo grounds with more on the economic impact of the rodeo. So Shauna, what can we expect this year? Yeah, Ken, that's right. It was canceled last year. So if you held on to your ticket, you can come and exchange it for this year's ticket. But you'll also need a wristband to enter. And the only way you can get that is by showing a complete vaccination form or a recent negative COVID test. This is by far the hardest rodeo we've ever put on. It, there's more challenges this year than we've ever met. The Clovis Rodeo is back this year, April 21st through 25th, with some changes. They're requiring proof of complete vaccination or negative COVID tests taken within 72 hours, which they also have on site through healthcare partners providing self swab tests with results in less than 15 minutes. Capacity will also be limited following health department guidelines. We're opening the gates at 40% under the COVID protocol. Uh, we're hoping to sit there and go into the orange uh, during our rodeo. The uh, Fresno County Health Department has gave us permission to go all the way up to 67. So we're hoping for that to increase. The rodeo is a Clovis tradition going back over a century with a one year hiatus in 2020 because of the pandemic. The economy, the community, and the residents all look forward to the rodeo. This is like the Indianapolis 500 of Clovis. I mean, it really changes this entire region for a week. People from all over the state and country travel to Clovis for the week long event, bringing in millions of dollars for local hotels, restaurants and shops. Revenue that's much needed for many businesses after a tough year. One of the reasons why we decided really to do this, this is actually to help the, the city of Clovis. We generate over $12 million in charitable events and stuff like that and also money going back. The restaurant owners, the bar owners and everybody else who has suffered. So hopefully this will give some of that back to them. And if you've been to the Clovis Rodeo in past years, organizers say the Midway area will look a little different. They won't have vendors in that area so they can make room to space out the tables there. And of course, entry may take a few more minutes because of these new rules. But organizers say it's all worth it to bring the rodeo back to Clovis. Reporting live, Shauna Kalafi, CBS 47 Eyewitness News.